Well, Steve, we're uh, just three games into a new coaching staff with new offensive and defensive schemes. Um, but three games in at this point is about as disappointing as we've seen Mississippi State football in, in quite a while. And what a reversal of fortune. I mean, and, and listen, you hate to, to pin it all on K.J. Costello, and it's certainly not all his fault, but uh, he has been consistent with his turnovers week after week after week, and it finally caught up with him tonight, and, and uh, Mike Leach pulls him for a couple of series and put Will Rogers in, and Will, of course, has a couple of interceptions. But, you know, here's the thing, too. You, you expect that from a true freshman on the road. When you've got K.J. Costello, who is uh, – you know, a veteran guy, This is it's been a huge disappointment. And the saddest part about the, all of that is, is it, it's another wasted effort from the Bulldog defense. And they were outstanding. I held uh, Kentucky at 154 yards, and for most of the ball game, right at 100 yards. Uh, I just think it's um, – they're not getting – their partners on offense to hold up their end of the deal. And that's as plain as I can say it. Yeah, the defense is playing well enough to win. Um, they've played well enough in all three games uh, to perform to championship standards. Um, but that's only part of the ball. I mean, that's only part of the game. And uh, you've got to do more than what, than what Mississippi State is currently doing on offense in order to beat teams in the Southeastern Conference. Yeah, and, and you know, you know, the defense today, I thought, probably played the best effort of the year. And, and this is a, this is a t Kentucky offense that put up 41 points on Ole Miss. And, again, that's not the praise. Uh, the, the Ole Miss defense, we know they have some issues and they get you know give a ton of points again and yards again tonight. But this is a Kentucky offense that came with a lot of confidence. And thinking they ran for 408 yards last week thinking, okay, we can do something similar. Yeah, there was a stretch there we were talking. They were had 112 yards of offense, and 51 of it came on one play. I mean, it just shows how well the Bulldog defense is playing, and that's the unfortunate thing about it all is all, all preseason, all we'd heard is we're going to struggle on defense, we're going to struggle on defense. We never thought we'd be in a situation where we go on the road, we don't score a single offensive point, and the only two points were gifted to us on a bad snap, on a punt. Uh, that's the thing, too, and Mike Leach got it figured out. You know, it's one of those things, too, you can say, well, you know, you change your quarterback, and then, then all of a sudden you put Will Rogers out there. There's enough blame to go around on offense. Uh, they're rushing three. We're defending with, we're protecting with five. We can't keep them off the quarterback. That that's a failure. There's no other way to explain that. You you, you can't sugarcoat that and make it better. I mean, it's because it's not math. It's magic apparently. Because I don't understand how. Five can't block three. You make a change at center. You bring Cole Smith out. You put James Jackson in. And listen, I thought the snaps were a little more on target. But you still had some of those issues, and you expect that from a first-time starter. But you got protection issues. You got drop issues. You got ball placement issues. You got turnover issues. Basically, it is a complete fundamental breakdown of offensive football, and we saw it out here tonight. You know, and for the first time, it seems, Steve, that, uh, that Mike Leach is getting frustrated. Um, he discussed in the post-game press conference um, that he was going to have to take a serious look at this team and, and the personnel and the coaching. Um, he called himself out as well as the rest of his staff. But um, three games in and, and the head coach is frustrated, then that's probably not a good sign. Well, you make the mention, too. He mentioned we've got to really assess and find out who wants to be here and who wants to play here. And he goes, in any malcontents, we've got to – kind of purged from the program. And, and uh, you know, a lot of people are probably happy to hear that. And there's other people that say, man, I hate to hear that we've got kids in there that are perhaps being bad actors and, and kind of being bad apples. But but here's the deal. We're paying Mike Leach $5 million a year to go win football games. And uh, if that means that he's got to – sometimes you got to, you got to put a guy on the sideline. Sometimes you got to put a guy on the bench. Other times you got to put a guy on the road. And uh, I'm certainly not going to second guess any of that. He's got to do what he's paid to do. But the bottom line is Mississippi State at this point is not getting a very good return on the investment. Things have to change and have to change quickly. From Lexington, Kentucky, Steve and Mike will uh, be back with you next week. And we thank you uh, for joining us tonight.